Hello guys and welcome to the next video in this PyCute series. In this series we're going to talk, or in this video, I'm going to talk about multiple document interfaces or MDI windows. So MDI window allow you to create, as the name states, they allow you to create more multiple documents per one window. So first off I'm going to open up a, a widget and you'll see an example in practice. So let's create a widget, let's try its MDI area and let's drop this on a grid layout and I'm going to add a bunch of buttons as well. So let's start with the buttons. bunch more and now I need four buttons here at the bottom right so let's do four buttons then I'm gonna break the layout I'm gonna add my fourth button let's put this in a separate layout say layout horizontal and let's just add back the grid layout and let's drag this horizontal layout to the right and there you go all right so in here we're going to add windows and we're going to have a couple of actions on this windows we're going to show you got to get the button here to move to the next window the previous window and to close all the windows. Next we're going to have a cascade option. We're going to have a tile option, a sub window view and a tab view. Alright, so I'm quickly going to give names to all our buttons. Okay, I've given names to all the buttons, so we're able to identify them when we write the code. Next up, let's save this. And as always, I'm going to save it into our project folder. And let's just call this mdi.ui. So open up our project folder. I'm quickly going to convert this to a Python file. mdi.cmd, so it's a batch file. That's going to do the conversion. And we're going to say Python user interface convert 5 and the output file or the target file is mdi.ui the output file is mdi.byw and let's run that and it should generate our view I haven't prefixed this with view so I'll quickly prefix everything with view alright there you go I prefixed everything with view and I also edited the batch file and I edited prefixes here as well so should I do updates then the files will be generated correctly next up let's go to PyCharm and let's create a new project we're gonna point it to our MDI folder interpreters should be the existing and let's create new projects in a new window all right Okay, next up, let's say, let's test our view. And it's running, it's looking good. And next we need our controller. So I'm going to quickly set up a controller here. So let's start with creating a new file, controller MDI dot Python. Open that up. 
And we're gonna start off by from by cute import cute widgets. Next we need our view, so import the view in the eye. Next up we need to create our class with the controller. We'll call this controller MDI. We're gonna inherit created a queue widget form, so I'm going to be inherited from a queue widget. And we're going to create our constructor or init class. And let's call this parent equals none. And then we're going to call the constructor for the queue widget class. And we're going to pass the self and the parent parameter. We're going to create the user interface. And we're going to say view mdi.ui form. So there's an instance of that interface. And then we're going to call the setup UI method. We're going to pass the form to it. Next up, let's make this controller executable so if name equals main so if this is the main file we're running or basically the file we're running <coughs> we want it to run next up we're going to import system we're going to create the application cute cute widgets.q application we're gonna say app oh no sorry system dot argument value and next up we're gonna say we, we need to create an instance of the controller class we need to um, show that controller and lastly, we need to do system.exit.argument, uh, sorry, app.argument. No, I'm missing the plot here, app.execute. There you go. Okay, and if you rightly can run this, it should uh, run, and there you go. Everything is open, we got the skeleton for the controller. Again, I've gone through that quite quickly, but we've covered that in almost all the videos. So by now, I'm assuming this is quite easy to you. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add sub windows to that MDI main window. So to do that, we're going to go into the constructor or init class, and we're going to create the sub windows here. Alright, so first we're going to do is we're going to create a sub window. So I'm going to type self dot sub window one equals, and we're going to create a new sub window. Cute widgets dot qmdi sub window. We're going to call an instance or create an instance of this class. And next up, we're going to call self dot the user interface MDI area dot add sub windows. So we're adding that the sub window we just created to the MDI area self dot sub window one. All right, and that's it. That's how you add a sub window to an MDI area. Let me show you the example. So let's run it. And once you run it, you'll see there is a sub window in the MDI area. It's a blank window, but nonetheless, it's still a sub window. And you can move it around, you can op minimize it, open it, close it, and we'll implement in the next few minutes, we'll implement all this button to interact with the sub window. Um, first, however, I want to show you how you can um, import one of our uh, a populated sub window. So I'm going to do that is I'm going to take one of our previous um, projects that we've created and I'm just going to import one of their views or one of their controllers into here. 
So let's get started on that. All right, first let's go and copy one of our previous projects classes into this project file. So I'm gonna go to our projects. Let's go up one folder. Um, I'm gonna import the LCD clock. So let's copy the LCD clocks items. I'm gonna copy, let's copy everything and copy this into our NDI area. So there you go. So now I've copied over the controller and the LCD view. So if you remember correctly, the LCD just displayed a small clock on the screen. So let's hop over back to PyCharm. So first thing you want to do is you want to import that file we just copied. So I'm going to type import and I'm going to import the controller. Because if I only import the view, then I have to re-implement everything from scratch again. So I'm going to import the controller, which already did the implementation of that class. And then we need to do two things. First, we need to create a sub window. So basically what this sub window is going to be, it's going to be an instance of our controller, the instance of the clock, the LCD clock. So instead of calling Qt widgets MDI sub window like we did here when we got an empty window, we're simply going to control call the caller, the controller, sorry. And that is the file name and this is the class name. You'll see that is capitalized and I always capitalize all my classes or at least I try to. Alright, so now we got the sub window which is an instance of this controller of the clock. And all we need to do now is add it to the MDI window. So self.ui.mdi area dot add a sub window and we can add the sub window number two. And now if I run this, you should see the clock on screen. And there you go. There is our clock in a separate MDI window or a sub window. All right, next up, we're going impl to start implementing the buttons below. All right, so the first thing is we have to create a connection for each one of these buttons. So let's start by saying self.useInterface.button and let's try and do them in order so let's do next dot clicked dot connect and we're going to have to create methods for each of these so i'm just going to say uh, let's just call it next the next method all right so i'm going to implement this for all the buttons let me quickly pause the video and i'll do that all right, so they have written all the connect statements for each button. Next up, we need to implement all these methods. So let's start by the f with the first method. I'm first going to just type out the skeleton. So we're going to do define next. And I'm just going to type in pass. And let's do this for all the me methods. Let me pause the video. All right, and so there I've implemented all the methods for each one of those buttons. So first up, we're going to implement the next method. All right, let's do self dot user interface dot mdi area dot, and the method we're looking for here is activate activate next sub window. So that should move the focus to the next sub window. Let's move right along and implement the previous one as well. Self.user interface MDI area activate previous sub window. That'll move us to the previous sub window. Next up, the close all. So let's implement this UI.MDI area dot close. 
all sub windows. There it is. You can do all, you can only do the active. So in this case, we're going to do all sub windows. Next up, we're going to implement the cascade. So self.ui.mdi area dot cascade sub windows. Let's do scroll down. Let's do the tile self user interface dot mdi area dot tile sub windows number next so oh, there's a typo here that, that should be tab view let's just see if these two correspond with those connect statements and i haven't connected the tab view here let's quick, let me quickly do that Oh, see now I did, we didn't, we corrected that name. So that should just be tab view. All right, so there we go. there's a connection. So the tab view, there's its methods, and the sub view, there's its methods. All right, so let's get back to the implementation. All right, so here we can type self.userinterface.mdi area, and this method is called set view mode. So to view in sub window mode, we're going to set the view mode to zero. And tab view, we're going to say ua.mdi area dot set view mode, and we're going to set it to one. All right, let's run this and let's see what we got. Okay, so if I click on the next button, you can see the focus moves between these two windows. What we can do is we can add a third window just to make it clearer. So let's quickly do that. Let's copy and paste this. And let's just add a third window to make it clearer. And it's just going to be a blank window and we're simply going to add this to it. All right, so let's run that. Now you should see three windows. And there you go, you see all three windows. And if I click next, you can see the focus shifting. Same with previous, it goes to the previous window. Close all, obviously closes everything. Um, we have to rerun our program to get it back because we haven't implemented an open button. Um, cascade, cascades all the forms into a cascade fashion. Tile, arrange them in a nice tile like display. Sub-windowed view, we are already in sub-windowed view. So if I click tab view, you'll see it creates tabs. So the MDI is really flexible. This is a quite a nice feature and a quite a nice widget to use. And it gives you a p uh, quite a lot of functionality and flexibility. All right, so this is all there is to the MDI windows. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and hope to see you in the next one.